this problem is going to demonstrate the impact of not making adjusting journal entries. So for each of these situations, we're going to determine what would the impact be if we did not make these adjusting journal entries. So we're going to choose um, the word overstated or understated. So I like this problem because it makes you go beyond the journal entries and really understand the impact of those. But I would caution you that it is a fairly advanced type of problem. In other words, you really have to understand the journal entries, where they um, are reported on the financial statements, and whether or not they make an account go up or down. So I want to take this slowly and really explain it as we go. Okay, so the first one is office plans supplies on hand $100. If we did not make the adjusting journal entry for office supplies on hand $100, what would happen? So in order to figure this out, we have to figure out what is the journal entry we should make. Well, if we are showing office supplies remaining, that means that we have used up some office supplies. So the entry would be office supplies expense, debit it, and credit office supplies. All right. so. Office supplies expense makes an expense go up, and office supplies credit makes the asset go down. So if we did not do this, what would it do to assets? Well, if we didn't reduce assets, then assets would be overstated. Okay? We did not do anything to a payable or any other liability, so there's no impact on liabilities. Equity. So equity on the balance sheet is impacted by net income. So if we did not increase expense, then that means that we would overstate net income, which would overstate our equity. All right, let's just keep going. It's going to take a few minutes for this to start clicking probably, so I'm just going to keep going. Then you can ask me questions as they come up. All right, so we did not do anything to revenue, so there's no impact on revenue. We did not, we did do something to expense. We should have increased it. We should have debited expense, but we did not. So that means that we would understate our expense because we didn't do it. All right, and that completes letter A. Let's look at letter B, accrued revenues. So the journal entry that we need to make, that we failed to make, is accounts receivable and fees earned or some other revenue. Okay, so if we did not make this, all right, accounts receivable is an asset and we wanted to increase it. Fees earned is a revenue and we wanted to increase it. So let's look at what would happen if we did not do that. So this is an asset. If we did not increase it, then it would be understated. We didn't do anything to liabilities. Equity, which is what happened to net income. Here we should have increased revenue, but we didn't. So therefore our net income would be understated. And so our equity would also be understated. All right, revenue, we should have increased it, but we did not. So it is understated. And we didn't do anything to expense, so nothing. All right, letter C, accrued interest expense. So accrued interest expense is interest expense and interest payable. So remember, anytime you have an accrual, it's going to either be a receivable or a payable. So this was our receivable. This is our payable. All right, so interest expense should have gone up and interest payable should have gone up. Expense should have gone up. Liability should have gone up. All right, we did nothing to assets, so no impact. Liabilities, it should have gone up, but we didn't. So it is understated. Equity, which is really our net income. So interest expense should have gone up, but we did not. Therefore, we have overstated net income. Revenue, we didn't do anything, no impact. Expense, we should have made it go up, but we did not. So it is understated. All right, record depreciation. So that would be depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation. All right, so depreciation expense should have gone up and a contra asset called accumulated depreciation also should have gone up, which would actually 
reduce your assets. All right, let's do it. So here our assets would be overstated because we did not depreciate enough. So they'd be overstated. We didn't do anything to liabilities. And our net income, because we did not record an expense, would be overstated. So that's our equity impact. We didn't do anything to revenue. Expense, we should have made it go up, but we didn't, so it is understated. All right, one to go. Unearned revenue that has now been earned. So when we now earn our revenue, we need to reduce our unearned revenue, which is a liability, and we need to increase our revenue account. All right, so we did not do anything to assets. Liabilities, we should have reduced them, but we did not. So our liabilities are overstated. And equity, we should have increased our revenue, but we did not. So our net income is understated. Income statement. Um, revenue, we should have increased it. We did not. So it is understated and we did nothing to our expense. So again, I would consider this an advanced concept, but it's a concept that you need to think through just to understand the impact of these adjusting journal entries. So I would say take these, work them a few times yourself, and then let me know if you have any questions at all. Thanks.